Leading up to today's testimony, Republicans had really high hopes for one of the afternoon witnesses, former U.S. Special Representative for Ukraine and man spending way too much time on one part of the sex talk, Kurt Volker. <laughs> According to previous witnesses, Volker was deeply involved in the communication between the White House and Ukraine, but today, Volker testified that he was kept out of the loop. Not a great sign for Republicans when their key witness is a guy who's out of the loop. The defense would like to call to the stand a blind janitor who was off work the day of the murder. <laughs> Did you see anything? No. Thank you. The, def <laughs> the defense rests. You're out of order. <laughs> Once the afternoon session started, it was time to swear in Volker and former National Security Council advisor Tim Morrison. And, oh, my God, who let that giant in? <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. While he is seven foot one, Mr. Morrison swore in just like anybody else. I solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, fee fi fo fum. <laughs> Volker, Volker, a, Volker attempted to explain why he previously testified that there was no connection between military aid and investigations, which turns out is not true. Since I gave my testimony on October 3rd, a great deal of additional information and perspectives have come to light. I've learned many things that I did not know at the time. First and foremost among them, that I am far too pretty to go to jail. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to. Volker. Volker made it clear he wasn't a fan of his squad's nickname. Much has been made of the term three amigos in reference to Secretary Perry, Ambassador Solon, and myself. I've never used that term and frankly cringe when I hear it. I cringe because those guys are not my amigos. They are at best los acquaintances de work. <laughs> now, the, the Democratic lead counsel asked Morrison what he knew about the Ukrainian energy company Burisma which is part of the conspiracy theory Trump mentioned on the phone call. And after she informed you of this uh, company, Burisma, what, if anything, did you do to determine what that was? After that particular handoff meeting, I, I proceeded to look it up on the Internet. I Googled it. And I learned a lot of shocking things on Google. Did you know the male seahorse carries the babies? I did not know that. <laughs> it's quite beautiful, really. It's quite, it's quite beautiful. Oh, my. While oh the testimony was going on, Trump held a televised cabinet meeting. It was kicked off by Energy Secretary Rick Perry, who began with a prayer for the president and for the nation. But just look what he's doing with his hands right there. You don't see that very often. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, Jesus. God in heaven. I just... Oh, Lord, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, dear Lord, it's, uh, listen, never mind who it is. It's, uh, I'm praying for a friend who's in trouble. He'd, uh, he'd offer the prayers to you himself, but first, he'd like you to do him a favor, though. We got a great show for you tonight.